afternoon YouTube. We are back on the road today and I've left it a bit late in the day. It's gone midday, I've just had my son's football match that I've been to watch and I'm now leaving for Wales. So I'm not gonna get up there until around 4.50, five o'clock sort of time, all traffic depending. Um, I'm off to Snowdon again. So plan for tonight, really quick camp in uh, near Linguinon. I'm going to pull up in a lay-by and just find a little bit of woodland to hide myself away for the evening. Well, tomorrow I plan to get up around sort of five o'clock, raid camp, walk out, drive up to Penny Pass and, and then go and do Crib Gok. Now, I've been wanting to do Crib Gok for ages. I've had my eye on the weather this week and it's been looking pretty bad for the weekend to be fair. So I'm not holding out for too many good views or spectacular scenery but I want to do it anyway so fingers crossed uh, the weather in the morning is cloudy and the rain's not starting till around two o'clock in the afternoon so I'm thinking if I can kind of get there for sunrise fingers crossed I might get some views and hopefully get a sunrise but <laughs> we all know what Wales is like it's very temperamental I'll see you in Wales bye now Our hub size to put my tent on. It's pretty rocky, but I don't think I'm going to need guy lines fixed tonight. It's pretty still at the moment. I might put some rocks on them just in case. I think I'm going to chill for a bit now. I'm going to sit up there maybe, taking some of the views of the lakes and the mountains behind. Maybe get some food on actually. I haven't eaten since breakfast. <laughs> I haven't had anything since about 10 o'clock this morning, so getting a bit hungry. Anyway, let's get some food on. I'm all set up. I might have a quick coffee later on. I'm quite tired, so usual suspects. Hope you can see us all right. I've got a little light on the GoPro now. So, uh, ice flame quilt again, firm rest X light, Seed Summit pillow for my legs, and my new decathlon helium pillow or something. Anywho, nothing exciting gonna happen tonight. So, I am setting my alarm for five o'clock in the morning, I've decided. Pack up and down, and then up there by six, quarter past. I think sunrise is just before seven, so should be getting light as I'm approaching. Anyway, look forward to the morning. See you then, bye. Mornings. Oh, 5.01. The rain went on till like one o'clock in the morning, I think. And uh, it was pretty loud. Quite windy as well. Should have put the guy ropes in. Anyway, let's get up. I'm gonna get packed down here and then just have a coffee when I get to Penny Pass. Let's see what the weather's doing. Go climb a mountain. Okay, not that you can see much. That is my flat bit of grass. And I'm off out of here. Leave no trace, as always. Now you wouldn't know it, but just had a clearing in the sky and it was absolutely stunning, the stars you get up here. Crazy. Right, I've got to turn this light off before I blind myself. Wait. Oh, right, little heads up. If you come in here, book Penny Pass car park. So I just turned up there before six. And it's fully booked. Uh, 
So I've literally had to drive a couple of minutes, which is probably going to be a 20 odd minute walk to a lay-by nearby, which is still paying display. So it's four pound for the whole day. Whew. But then you've got to walk all uphill before you even start. So that is a heads up. If you're coming and wanting to do this, <laughs> book the car park first. <laughs> Don't actually think you can see anything. There we go. All right, sunrise is in about 20 minutes. So I'm hoping the cloud might clear a bit. You can see it's gonna come from that direction. Be nice to get some high views for the sunrise. Right, this is the last of the visibility. So Linidwell, is it? That's how you pronounce it. You know what my Welsh is like. So I'm just going up towards the peak of Cribgot, which is actually covered in cloud. Snowdon is over there, also covered in cloud. Now, we'll probably only do some clips when I get up to the top here, just to see what it's like, and then get down. I was in two minds whether to come up here because of the visibility. If it's poor visibility at the level I was at, I was probably going to bail, carry on on the pig. But there's two guys behind me now, and they're going for it as well. So if I stay in front of them, whew, I feel like I've got a bit of a safety blanket. If anything does go tits up, anywho, see you soon. Wind's picking up, the visibility is low, <laughs> but not far from the summit of Kribgok. And then it's the knife edge, so if you can make it out, there's the summit and that's the ridge that goes around there. <sighs> Been tough going, took a wrong path, so I had to sort of do a bit of rock climbing. Like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> Stunning views from the summit of Kribgok 2021. Now it's that way. Looks a bit sketchy, doesn't it? Amazing. Fuck the path. Let's go this way. Famous last words. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, I think that might be the worst of it. The wind's picking up. Let's get to Snowden. Hey, that's Krugok officially done. So now, just a loop round 
up to Snowdon and then back down onto pig track and home. We've got to get the selfie from Snowdon but there will not be much filming because this is all I can see. And you don't want to see too much of this. So I'm going. Bye now. Trig point, you know what. There we go. Made the summit. The bonus about the weather being so shite. There's no one else up here. Passed a couple of people on the way. That is it. I don't know how much of this is audio. It's going to be usable. So, summit done. Bite. Good way to stay warm. Do some running. <laughs> Why not summit a mountain, do Crib Gok, and then run the way back? That's how I roll. Okay, back in the van. <laughs> Record time. What is it? It's not even 10 o'clock yet. I absolutely smashed that. So, apologies for the video. Not going to be a usual sort of film. It's more going to be kind of vlog, I suppose, but didn't have the views to get nice shots, so you just had to put up with me chatting rubbish for the whole time. I will go through the map with you. By the way, I got this from Alpkit. It's a little uh, dinky map, so it's like localised areas and it's waterproof as well. I didn't actually need it today. It's a pretty easy route. So where did we go? So I drove to Penny Pass and couldn't get a space. So I had to come back on myself and park. There's a hotel just there. So I was parked around here. So it's a good mile extra that I've had to walk. It is paying display. I probably said that earlier. Another four pounds, but four pounds for a whole day is fine. So anyway, I walked back up there to Penny Pass and took pig track uh, all the way there until it veers off to the right a bit and then up Crib Gok and you saw what was there and then it comes back down and joins up with all the um, uh, Lamberis path and the train track and everything that goes up to the summit of Snowdon so then get to the summit walks back round so I could have either gone miners or pig track back but I went miners so that's the blue route it's quite nice as well it's all color coded on here as well as you can see so pig uh, pig track all the way back to penny pass and then back down to where the van is oh so conditions weren't conditions weren't what I was expecting they were what I was expecting they weren't what I was hoping for I would have liked a little bit of a clearing but it's all part of the experience. I like to do something that challenges me now and again, and that was quite a challenge, I must admit. There was a few sketchy bits up the top of Creek Gok, so I kind of get a kick out of the adrenaline as well. And just, uh, I act now, think later, which I should probably think first, then act later. Anyway, I'm alive, and if you're doing Snowden for the first time, probably best to go pig or miners uh, just because crib guy is a bit is a bit gnarly up there and maybe go with somebody as well i went by myself but there were a few people around so i felt a bit safe anyway guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this one <sighs> don't know what's next i am doing watkins path in a few weeks for my birthday but i'm not going to film that one because I'd like to do something without filming it for a change. Might do a little Insta post or something. So don't follow me on Insta. Head on over there. Right then, stop chatting and I will see you again soon. Bye now.